Once upon a time, there was a little engine called Edward. He lived in a shed with five other engines. They were all bigger than Edward and boasting about him. The drivers won't choose you again, they said. They were big, strong engines like us. Edward had not been out in a long time. He began to feel sad. Just then, the driver and fireman came along to start work. One of the drivers looked at Edward. Why are you sad? he asked. Would you like to come out today? Yes, please, said Edward. So the fireman lit the fire and made a nice pot of steam. Then the driver pulled the lever and Edward puffed away. Peep, peep, he whistled. Look at me now. The others were very cross of being left behind. Away went Edward to get some coaches. Oh, please, Edward, said the coaches. Don't bump and bang us like the other engines do. So Edward came up to the coaches very, very gently and they shunned to fasten the company. Thank you, Edward, said the coaches. That was kind. We're glad you're taking us today. Then they went to the station where the people were waiting. Peep, peep, whistled Edward. Get in quickly, please. So the people got in quickly, and they were waited happily for the guard to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. He waited and waited. There was no whistle, no green flag. Peep, 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 peep. Where's that guard? Edward was getting anxious. The driver and fireman asked the station master. Have you seen the guard? No, he said. They asked the porter. Have you seen the guard? Yes. Last night, said the porter. Edward began to, to get cross. Are we ever going to start? He said. Just then, a little boy shouted. There's the guard. Here he comes. The guard was running downhill with his flag in one hand and a, sh and a sandwich in the other. He ran onto the platform, blew his whistle and jumped into his van. Edward puffed off. He'd... He did have a happy day. All the children ran to wave, and he went. And he went by, and he met old friends at all the stations. He worked so hard that his driver promised to take him out again the next day. I'm going out again tomorrow, he told the other engines that night in the sheds. What do you think of that? But he didn't hear what they thought, for he was so tired and happy. They fell asleep at once.